Hey guys, welcome home. Today I'm gonna teach you how to switch different display in Zoom using Minicam application. Without any further ado, let's get in the house. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use the Minicam application together with the Zoom application. So to get started, I have already opened the Minicam application at the left side of the screen and the Zoom application at the right side of the screen. So as you can see, I have already created a meeting in Zoom. So uh, the first thing that we are going to do in here is that as you can see in the left side is the the Minicam application. So, this is the main interface of Minicam. As you can see here, we have a big screen and smaller screens at the right side. So, here, the left screen, the this is the main display of Minicam. So, whatever you put in the smaller screen and whatever you activated will be displayed in the main screen. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to set up what are the different displays that you are going to display in the Zoom application. So later on, I am going to demonstrate to you how they connect to each other, the Minicam application as well as the Zoom application. Are you excited? So let's start setting up our different displays in Minicam application. So as you can see here in the first um, smaller screen we have here um, we have here a uh, so as you can see in the in the left uh, in the right side part of the minicam application we have here smaller screens so we will going to fill it up with the different displays that you are going to display in zoom so first you have to click this arrow down and then we have here different um, options that you can choose from so you can display from the camera then if your camera is already connected so you can select it and then you have here the game uh, IP cameras add mobile quick connect we have also media files YouTube URL desktop so whatever in the desktop we have to choose uh, whatever we are going to display in desktop so you have to choose this one and then a blank image and then if you want to clear the screen then just click this one so this time we are going to select the camera as our as one of our uh, displays okay so if it is already activated so as you can see the camera is activated in one of the, the screens in minicam application so let's add another one uh, same thing we're just going to click the arrow and then for example we are going to display a media file so for, um, it could be a picture a video or a file but this time we're going to choose a picture Let's go to the desktop and then select um, image. Okay, it is already in place in another screen. So let's add another one. So this time we're going to add an a VLC application. Okay, this one. So so whatever in the application in the desktop that you, you, you have choose, then it will be displayed in the smaller screen so let's add another one so this will be the last thing that we're going to do we'll go to the desktop and then choose this custom area so if we choose the custom area and you click the live you will see this one this rectangular or square um dotted square so whatever you place inside this one will be reflected in the screen so this time we will go to the youtube 
and we have I prepared here a channel with a video then we are going to enclose it with this rectangular box so you can adjust here if you want to just uh, see this guy this um, version so click this one okay so okay so as you can observe if you click if you click here the trans button then it will switch from one display to another for example if we click the number two screen click the trans then as you can see uh, the display in the main uh, screen will switch from one screen to another that one and we have here the YouTube channel We have to disable the text okay so that so we have already set up four different displays and you have to try if it is working uh, for example we were going to play this video in YouTube then you can see a video is now playing so that's it so we can play a video as we can we switch from one screen to another it could be a a video or a youtube channel okay let's try the vlc then let's play this one and let's click this okay it is now playing and it is the one is being displayed in the main screen okay so this time i am going to show you how to connect the minicam application to our zoom application so in here in the right side you have created a meeting and then you have to start you have to click this beside the video icon you have to click it the source of our of our video so as you can see it is already uh, we have here a4 tech usb 2.0 camera so if we click this one, uh, since it is already be, uh, been using, so nothing will be displayed. So we have here Minicam VMix video, but this time we will going to choose the Minicam virtual application. So let's click it, and nothing happened. Uh, since the start video is disabled, so we are going to enable this. So at the bottom, just click the start video icon and it will automatically be enabled. Chada. So as you can see, whatever is in the main screen of the Minicam application will also be displayed in the Zoom application. If you are going to play the video, so as you can see, it is what is ever happening in the minicam application is also happening in zoom application so unmute this one so that they can also hear the music so same also with the video we have also to we have also uh, to choose the audio where that it came from so it is stereo so automatic it will detect the audio from the minicam application so let's try to switch from one screen to another then we will see what will going to happen okay let's click the the camera let's click the trans okay so as we see switch from one screen to another so the minicam application is um, go hand in hand with the zoom applications as you can see we make it live the camera and then whatever is the display in minicam it will be displayed also in the zoom application so let's try to uh, click this another display the picture so as you can see uh, the picture is also displayed in the zoom application let's just try so you can easily switch from one screen to another so it is just very helpful 
to use the Minicam application as third party for Zoom application so that uh, it would be easier for you to switch from one screen to another. So, um, I've been using this uh, Minicam application as the as old version. So, if you want to download Minicam application, there is um, updated version. And it is paid, but you can also choose the free version, but there is a logo in it. So, that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, for more questions, clarifications, or technical assistance, don't hesitate to comment down below or put your questions below the comment section and we'll make it sure that we will going to check it out. This is Miliamo Ferds. Until next time, adios.